I want to make a shorter video of this IR capture of the Aura, the Fishman Aura. So we've got the Fractal FX2 with firmware 5.07 and here are the hookups that matter. There are other things connected but they won't affect this, they can stay connected. Output 2, FX send left is what I'm connected to. That goes up to the Aura, to the input of the Aura. You can see that there. And then the output of the Aura, over here I'm just using the unbalanced out, comes over to the axe input to left, left mono. So that's, that's the cable hookup. Then the next thing we need to worry about is making sure that the patch you have selected does not use the effects loop. That there's no block, no effects loop block in the patch. I'm using 36. You can use any patch as long as it doesn't have an effects loop in it. The other thing to check is on the I.O. menu, page over to the audio page and then use the navigational down arrow to go down to copy one copy out one to out two and make sure that that is set to off then go back to recall mode the other thing to understand is this output level two is to, is going to determine the output level that's going to feed out to the aura for the IR capture so that has to be up to some point now press the utility button which should take you to the LCD contrast display. Use the page right button to page over to the IR cap page and it should be selected test should be highlighted. The enter button when you press the enter button that will send a test tone out to the aura so at this point you can press that and set the level. If I turn this down and press enter you'll notice that I'm not getting any, anything to the aura. If I crank it up higher press enter I'm gonna hit the red. So I've determined already that a little bit less than noon is a good level for the aura that gives me green and yellow with that input level. I could always also change this input level that's the level that's that works for my guitar so I'm just leaving it that then this output level on the aura is going to determine what comes back to the axe. You'll, you probably noticed earlier when you press enter input to left is showing a signal coming back if I were to try to not knock this thing over crank this thing up and do this again now I'm hitting red there and obviously if I turn it down too far it doesn't show a lot of difference there but I'm gonna go ahead and put it back to where I had it set for my purposes because that actually seemed to work okay then you use the navigational arrows to navigate around this screen if I press the right arrow you see that that moved over to capture capture is now selected if I press enter at this point it's going to go through this sequence ten times. So you just sit and wait for that to happen. And now the capture went away. You notice that this straight line turned into a squiggly line and now it's ready for me to save that. Okay, so I've got my capture and now it's time to save that. I'm going to use the down arrow to select the save to location and use the wheel to choose a location. I'm going to put this in location 3. Use the down arrow again to select name. The right and left arrows move the cursor to the position you want to change and the wheel will change the uh, change the letters as you turn the it's kind of that typical thing where you turn the wheel and you get different letters. So I'm going to go ahead and name this Aura ME12. Let's see here. 
I need a need a dash in here. ME-12 and then the microphone on this particular sound image in the Aura was the Sound Deluxe E47. So I'm going to change this to an E and this to a 4 and that to a 7 and there's my name. Now I press up to get back up to the top row right over to the save button press enter to save it asks me to confirm it do that and now I've saved my aura sound image in the user cab number three position now once you've got that saved and named it's time to apply it to something so I'm going to go back to recall go back to my I'm going to change to patch in my case 37 this patch has is set up for me already I'm going to choose layout and then I'm going to arrow over to the end of this patch where I've got what I've got in this is simply an amp and a cab this top line is for the piezos it's uh, and the amp that I've chosen is the tube preamp type which seems to work well with this and to use this new Aura IR using the right arrow to move around here right and left arrows I'm going to go to the cab block and then I'm going to choose edit and the value wheel will select the cab right now it's user 1 I'm going to turn it clockwise user 2 user 3 what I just saved was user 3 which is the Aura ME12 E47. This is the uh, Aura sound image for the Melissa Etheridge Ovation 12 string, which works well with solid body guitars with piezos. So that's my selection there. And then hit store. Asked you to confirm it. Actually, I hit enter. Then it asked to confirm. And I've changed my cab to the new IR that I just captured. That's it.